So, sun's out, <clears throat> lessons are out, right? So we had a, had a couple guys here on my home track and we did some coaching today, working on technique. Normally we're at the practice tracks and they're a lot smoother, a lot more graded, a lot easier. We came to this track with big bumps, big sand, and it was much more challenging. So their technique came out to play more today than it would be on a smooth track, easy track, because you're getting challenged more. And they felt the imbalances to the proper way so much, uh, I guess so much more riding a track that's gonna challenge you. So the biggest thing was, is my friend um, Burn came here and he had a neck brace on. So we talked about a couple things and this and that, and I told him, I said, hey, look, I'm gonna tell you a few things that I see about it, and I want you to make the decision and to take it off or keep it on. Just take what I say, put it in your pocket or throw it in the trash, no problem. So I told him, look, the thing that ha we're having a problem is with is where this is at, and especially this one brace, okay? So if he goes over the bars, what is he supposed to do? He's supposed to be able to tuck his head, be able to raise his shoulders up and put his head into a box, so to speak, because that's why our heads are round and that's where our shoulders come up and we can tuck so we can get into a tuck and roll and be in this protective box to protect ourselves. That's what we've been designed to do, not to let our head stick up so then it's a lawn dart, okay? Also, when his helmet hits this, it goes right into your sternum. Well, that can be an injury too that does not need to happen. The second thing, when his, every time his head moves quickly, you see what happened to his body. It directed his body. If my head moves, my body moves. If my head is on a platform that now pushes my shoulders down, then I exaggerated that problem. That's why you see all the little kids on 50s going ring, ring, and their head just goes back and forth. And because they're just weeble wobbles, because their head and their shoulders are locked up together. Okay, that's another thing. The other thing with this brace, because if you look at this brace when we take it off, it has no movement to it. It's probably the most dangerous brace you can put on because it has no movement to it. It has a carbon fiber strut sitting on your, on your spine. But when he stands up, now I want you to stand up and straighten your legs. So if he went over the bars, what's he gonna do? He's gonna go back, 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 try to get back. Well, what's this doing? Pushing his head down, down, down. How do you initiate a front flip? by tucking your head. So this, every time he gets kicked, is pushing his head down, pushing his head down, and anytime your head gets pushed forward, your arms are gonna tighten up, all right? So we had this talk, and I explained to him to everything, and told him, okay, we put him in the right position. We wanna get in the right position, knee straight, hips out, come down, right there. Okay, what's the problem? Can't see. He can't see up, so what do we have to do? Where was he when he first came to me? We have to be here. Hold on, hold on, let me see his foot. Mm -hmm. Have to come here, flat footed, but let's turn the toes out, okay? Now let's put the knees in front of the shoulders. Now can you see? Yep. Okay, now that's the position you're gonna see everybody in is flat footed, knees in front of the shoulders. Yeah, your hips can be out, your back can be straight, but you're in a constant pull now because your elbows and shoulders are tight because you're going away from the motorcycle, away from the motorcycle. So this is no way that the body's been designed to take up impact or any kinetic energy into it this way. It has to be with the hips out, but you see what's happening. When his hips go out, his head goes down. Hips out, head down. He's coming this way. That's why you see most people with neck braces, even a Marvin Muskin, in this position. Okay, so what we did is we took this neck brace off and, or he took it off, I didn't. It was his decision and we probably, can we get this thing off? Yeah. Okay, so we took this thing off and as you see with this neck brace, most people, their idea is like, look, I don't want to break my neck. Okay, well, your neck is part of your spine, right? Yes. So I'm going to put something on my body that's a carbon fiber strut that has no movement to it, that's two inches wide, that's resting directly on my spine. Okay, this is an old model, but I see many, many, many people using it. So when that head goes back, boom, this pushes right into the spine, T4, T5, T6. There's no way around it. It's physics, it's logic, it's <laughs> whatever you wanna say. So this coming out to me is one of the most dangerous things that ever come out in our sport because of its design. Yes, the new ones now are lower. The new ones have some movement to it, but you're still gonna have a hinge and you're still gonna have, uh, you know, you're still gonna have energy going into your spine when you go backwards and you're still gonna have all these problems that you had. So he took it off. 
Then we rode with it and then we rode with it uh, or without it and we rode with it again, right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to tell these people, so it's not just rhino, rhino, rhino. You tell these people what you said because you did one lap and you're like, dude, I can't ride. Yeah, there's one section on the track where we're going uphill, it's through whoops and you need to be over the bike looking in front of you and you're going up an incline and when I did the lap with the neck brace back on, I was looking straight at the ground. So I had to rotate my hips down in order to see the track in front of me. And I couldn't go as fast, it didn't feel right. And so I took it off immediately and I went and did it again and it felt way better. I could actually be over the bike, balanced, and I could see Yeah, without that restriction. He's exactly right. So if you stand up again, just like you were, you straighten those legs up a little bit. Bring those legs up, bring yourself down. What's the problem? Absolutely nothing. So again, when he had the brace on, he was moving this way, this way. When he took the brace off, he was moving this way. There's a little bit of movement in that neck. There's a little bit of movement in those hips, okay? There's a little bit of movement in my suspension over the little bit of bumps. There's a little bit of movement with my front brake when I wanna put it on. There's a little bit of movement with my throttle when I'm rolling it on, okay? So don't tell me a little bit of movement isn't gonna make a difference when you're getting kicked, when you're doing things that you're not ready for, or you're riding a track that is rough as that and bikes are powerful as this. So again, I'm not anti-safety. I'm not anti-anything. I'm anti bad positioning, bad uh, approach, and only because of the fear of that I might be getting, might get hurt. So again, you pick the sport, so make sure your approach and your technique and your uh, understanding of it is correct instead of just putting band-aids on, okay? So that should tell you exactly why I say what I say and see what you what what I see when I'm looking at someone riding and then also coming from somebody not from me just a rider that just does this for fun and had no idea he was that affected by the neck brace until he took it off so thank you everybody